wish you a beautiful morning. Uh, good to see you all. And we'll start by just finding our center on our mat. Easy sitting position. Take the time to check in with yourself this morning. Stay with your breath throughout the whole practice if you can. Calm your body from inside out by following your inhale and exhale. Guiding the movement with your breath. a little more than you think you can. Release any tension you can find. Invite your body to become part of this flow that's everlasting. Three more deep breaths here. Fill up your lungs all the way to the crown of your head. Let the exhale fade out. together in front of your heart. Invite your intention into today's practice. Let's start by chanting one on together here. Exhale all there out. Inhale to begin. into your chest. Inhale, bring the arms over the side, reach up. Exhale, draw the energy into your heart space. Two more times, inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull it in, whatever you need. Last one, inhale, brings you up. And exhale. Bring the arms out to the side, bring the hands onto the shoulders and let's make some circles here as you inhale, touch the elbows, open your chest, exhale, brings you down, integrate the upper spine into this movement, roll the shoulders, roll the chest and use your breath to go through that. Reverse it, bring it from the back, over the side, to the front. Two more times. Inhale, brings the arms out, bring the right hand behind the left, reach up tall and reach back. And then switch left hand behind the right, maybe unwind your spine one time, reach up tall and back. And exhale, release. Roll over into a tabletop position. Find your center here, shoulders over wrists. Shift your hips back to your heels. 
Inhale brings you forward, bend the arms, chest lowers. Slide forward into a cobra. Exhale pushes you back to the heels. Inhale forward to tabletop, bend the elbows, bring the chest down. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale brings you back to the heels. One last time, inhale, shift forward, lower the elbows, the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, rolls you back. Stay a moment in child's pose here. You can lower your feet down. Bring the right arm up, thumbs up to the ceiling. Push forward and then try to make a big circle to the sacrum and then on the height of the elbow, the arms, uh, the palm flips, so the palm is facing up, but you don't want to touch the sacrum. Inhale, reach forward, arm long. Exhale, move it all the way back to the sacrum. Three more times on this side. Full body, uh, full shoulder rotation. Try to rather do it slow and consciously instead of rushing through the movement. Last one. Then come back to the front, push your arm a little higher and more forward without using the head. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do the other side. Left arm lifts, thumb up. Make a big circle to the sacrum. Inhale, arm forward. And exhale, move it back. Three more times in your own time. See if any side feels much easier. My left shoulder feels much better as my right side is the stronger one. So usually the stronger side has a little less flexibility and range of motion. Next time you're forward, keep the left arm lifted, belly hugs in, push the arm forward, just for a breath. And exhale, release. Come back up to sitting on your heels. You can just have the hands on your thigh. And you kind of want to slide forward with your hands, move the chest forward and push it back. Inhale, reaches up and back with your chest. Exhale, round. Two more times. Release the chest and the neck that we just used a little bit in the previous exercise. And then release, come back on all fours. Come onto your toes, shift yourself back into your downward facing up. Bend your knees and really try to bring your chest down, shake your head out, do maybe some bounces for your chest and shoulders. And straighten the legs as much as it's possible. Maybe bend one leg at a time. Swing your hips a little bit from side to side to invite a side bend stretch into this pose. I always like to bring my heel in the center of the mat. And then find a moment of stillness in your downward facing dog. Just feel it out. Where are you today? And make your way to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale brings you all the way up to standing or Vastasana. And exhale, hands to your heart. Let's move through some sun salutation. Inhale, arms up and overhead, reach back. Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, step the right leg back, come into a low lunge, reach forward with your chest. Exhale, brings you back to plank, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, pushes you back to the heels, all the way to downward facing down. Right leg lifts, step it through, low lunge. Both feet meet, top of the mat. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, Tadasana. Stay soft on the first movements. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, fall forward. Left leg steps back, low lunge. Both feet meet, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide to forward. Exhale, back to downward facing down. Left foot lifts. Step it through, low lunge on this side. Lower the right knee down. And then both feet meet, forward fold. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, Tadasana. We'll add on to this. Inhale, arms up. As you're up, open the elbows to the side. Cactus your arms to widen your chest a little more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the right leg back. Keep the right leg lifted. And just shift forward and backward a couple times to warm up. The hips. Push into the hands. Lift the left leg up. Open the hip. Heel to the glutes. Exhale. Step the left foot down. Right leg lift. Step it through in between your hands. Keep the left leg lifted. Exhale. Both feet meet. Forward fold. Inhale, up and back. Open the elbows to the side. Open your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot lifts. Step it back. Low lunge. Movement back and forth. Plant the hands down. Lift the right leg up. Three leg it down. Dog. Open the hip. Heel to the glute. Breathe into the front of the hip. Exhale, step it back down. Left foot lifts. Step it through into your low lunge with the back leg lifted. Exhale, both feet meet, full tanasana. Inhale, arms up. And back, open the elbows to the side, reach the chest wide. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back into your chin. Do the same exercise here, the elbows wide, chest up. And try to rotate the arm down as low as it goes, but the elbow stays in one line with the shoulder. Inhale, up, squeeze it together, broaden the chest. Exhale, round forward, internal rotation. Inhale, up. And back, how wide can you go? Exhale, lower. One last time. Inhale, arms lift. Keep the shoulders low, try not to hug them up to the ears. Exhale, internal rotation. Inhale, arms lift, just alongside of your ears. Sit a little deeper in your chair. Active lift in the shoulders. Exhale, fall forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Take one long breath here. Exhale it out, maybe just out of the mouth to release. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right triceps. Hold. Roll to the inner edge of your foot. Try to lift the left arm up. Exhale, back. Right leg lifts. Step it to the outside of the right hand for lizard pose. Come onto your fingertips so you can really reach the chest forward. Try to bring... The left foot outside of the left hand for a squat. 
Step it back, the left foot goes back, lizard. Left hand down, right arm up, easy twist. You can stay in that easy twist or lower the back leg. Try to hold on to the foot for a moment. Exhale, release. Right leg lifts. Open the um, hip one more time. Bring the heel to the glute. Exhale, right leg down. Let's try the other side, left leg lifts. Exhale to the left elbow. The higher you can hike the knee, the better. Bring the right foot down and then spin to the outside. It's kind of a weird side plank. Right arm lifts. Right hand down, lift the left leg up. Find length. Exhale, lizard on the left side. Step it outside of your left hand. Come onto your fingertips. Really create that length in your chest. Try to not have so much weight on the hands when you step the right foot forward. Find a squat. Same way back. Try to have the belly hugging in. Step the left foot back. Right hand is your foundation. Left arm lifts. Twisted lizard. If you want, bring the back knee down. Hold on to the outside of the foot for just a breath. Exhale, release. Left leg lifts. Open the hip. Bring it all the way down, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift you forward to plank. Bring the knees down. Try, uh, try to just touch the chest to the mat. Elbows stay in. Um, chin lifts. Exhale, push you back. Let's do two more. Exhale, inhale, lower, reach forward with your chest, squeeze the shoulders. Exhale, pull it back. One last time. And shift yourself back to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Stay on your toes, try to just lift the, uh, lower the hips, reach the chest forward. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, step or jump forward to the front of the mat, halfway left. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms over head. Exhale, Tadasana, interlace the hands behind the shoulder, uh, behind the back. Reach up with your chest. Exhale, bend the knees, roll forward. Inhale, lift the chest, straighten the legs, pull the arms back. Find your rotation for two or three times. Then release, bring the arms out wide. Let's make some circles for our elbows so you just rotate around it also goes into the shoulder if you really release the arms change direction and then bring the hands onto your rib catch elbows want to come down pull the belly in try to lift only the rib cage and the chest elbows pull down you can drop the head if you like And then try to bend the knees, but keep the um, rib cage lifted. Two more breaths here. And you will feel, depending on your back bend flexibility, you can sit so low in your chair. Exhale, release, bend forward. You can hug behind the thighs to just connect the belly to the thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up into your chair. Open the elbows to the side one more time. This time bring the arms out wide. And try to squeeze the shoulder blades together, but keep the shoulders low. You can flex the hands back, maybe even wiggle your fingers if it's too much. 
in the nerves. Inhale, arms up into your chair with Katasana. Exhale, lower the hands down. Step or jump back into plank. Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. One long breath here. Lift the right leg up. Exhale, elbow and knee to the right elbow. Spin onto the outer edge. Keep the connection here. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Just move the foot to the right outside of the leg. This time, try to bring the left foot inside of your hands. Try to still sit deep. Exhale, step it back. Lower the left knee, try to catch the foot from outside. Keep the chest nice, wide and open. Exhale, release, push into the head. Lift the right leg up, three-legged plank. Chaturanga Radhasana with the right leg lifted. Inhale, we're facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Other side, left leg lifts. Step it through to the outside of the left hand. Keep the left. Try to bring, oh no, lift the left leg up one more time. We forgot the side plank. Left knee into your left triceps. Lift the right hand up. Find the balance. Then lower the right hand and step the left foot outside. You should feel this in your core. Make a tiny step to the front, right foot in one line with your left. Step it back, lower the right knee, open to the side. Catch the back foot. One deep breath. Exhale, lower both hands. Push into the hands, lift the left leg back, three-legged plank. Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. One breath to neutralize. Show you this one from the front. Lift the right leg up, open the hip, heel to the glute, make some space. Exhale, one big step, step the right foot outside of the right hand. And then really push into the hands. Sometimes it helps to be on the fingertips so you have a little bit more space. But you want to bring the left foot all the way in front. So the left shin is parallel to the floor. And then you want to push into the hands again to step the left foot back. Lower it down, low lunge can come onto your hands and knees this time. I don't know what's the best way to show you. This time really try to create some space between your thigh and your belly. You can stay here and just get the stretch in the left hip flexor. If you want to um, challenge your balance a little bit, you can try to break both hands to the um, foot so you can bring the heel closer and at the same time you're opening the front of your chest. Exhale, release. With or without the hands come into your high lunge and lean forward. Lift the left leg up and lower yourself into standing split. Bring the hands down, lift the left leg as high as you can. Try to create some bounces up and down without moving the hip, just actively pushing the toes a little bit more towards the ceiling. Exhale, step it back. Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward facing down. And exhale, back to downward facing down. Let's do the other side. Left leg lifts, open the hip. In one motion, step it outside of the left hand. I always like to be on my fingertips here. Pull the belly in. 
bring the right leg to the front, but then the shin parallel, bring it to the floor for just a breath. Push into the hands, lift the right knee into the chest, to step it back. Right knee can lower, grab the outside of the foot. Inhale, release, come back up into the low lunge. Really sink the right hip down, find your alignment here first. You can stay here, otherwise if you want to go deeper you can hold on to the back foot. Make sure you're not collapsing forward, you want to stay upright. For that I have to keep my elbows bent to keep the length in the chest. If you can straighten them that's also fine. Exhale, release. Hands down, step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, we're facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Step we jump to the front of the mat, halfway left. Exhale, forward fall. Inhale, come all the way up to standing with Vastasana. Exhale. Tadasana. Bring the right um, leg in and hold it from the inside. You can just go into a dancer's pose by bringing the left arm forward and leaning forward. If you want to play with the same version that we did in our low lunge, you can bring both hands to your foot and lean forward, maybe push a little bit your heel away from you. That's, that should be a little bit more challenging. And then instead of coming up, release the foot, no matter if you have one or two hands, lower down into your standing split, right leg lifts. Try to do some bounces here as well. Lower the leg up and down a little more than you think you can. Exhale, both feet meet on the top of the mat, bring the feet parallel. Let yourself hang loose on top of your legs. Maybe you need to bend your, out, um, your knees. Too long breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips. Come up with a nice straight spine. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Catch the inside of the left foot to lean out into your dancer. If you tried the other version on the other side, you can take both hands to your foot, lean forward, maybe create some distance between your heel and your torso. Exhale, release, lower into your standing split, left leg lifts, bring it high. Exhale, lower it down, feet parallel, halfway lift, grab your big toes, lengthen your spine, exhale, elbows to the side, two more like this, inhale, lengthen, find a halfway lift, pull the sitting bones higher, exhale, elbows to the side, one more, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, down, inhale, halfway lift, Plant your hands down. Step your feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Shake out your head. Bring both of your elbows down. Dolphin pops. You can have the knees bent. I want to play with the same concept than before. Inhale, reach your nose to the thumbs. Maybe touch it down. Exhale, push us back. Three more times. Inhale, lower the nose to the mat. Exhale, push into the elbows to push yourself in an open shoulder position. Move with your breath. Do you feel any restriction in your shoulders? Or is that easy? So we stay in an open shoulder position where you 
have your nose hopefully close to your elbows. Bring the left foot into your center, lift the right leg up. Let's try the same thing that we did in standing split. Try to reach with your right leg a little higher without opening the hip. I like to have my head neutral. You don't have to look to the front. We're not balancing. Then open the hip like you did in down dog. Bring the heel to the glutes. Exhale. Try to touch the right um, knee to the right elbow. Hold, and then step it back to dolphin pops. Same thing on the other side, lift the left leg up as high as you can. Maybe create some bounces up to reach actively a little higher. Exhale, open the hip, heel to the glute. Make some space in the front. See how the weight is shifting more into your elbows. Exhale, knee to the left triceps. Hold for a breath. Exhale, step it back. Lower the knees. Walk the hands out. Enjoy your shoulder stretch. I like to be on my fingertips here as well because the stretch goes a little bit more into the shoulders for me then. If you have the knees wide, it should be a little easier. The closer you have the knees, the more it goes into the back bend. Exhale, shift yourself back onto your um, heels. <clears throat> you can watch for a moment. Um, we, I wanted to try a forearm stand um, so you activated your shoulders and your core you can bring the elbows down like we had before in dolphin pups i want you to come up with one leg i'm already pretty close so when i'm just coming onto my toes my hips are already up and then i actually just do a tiny jump from my lower leg and this position is pretty pretty stable, um, so first you want to find that. You can always have a wall behind and you try both legs. The left leg lifts and make sure you are close but you're not bringing your nose to the front so you still want to actively push into that and then you reach with your top leg up. And come back down whenever you're ready. Just give it a moment to try. If you just want to play with the leg lift, that's also fine. But um, observe what happens in your shoulders as you do this. When you come closer, can you still prevent your shoulders from going over your elbow? Can you really press back into that even though when your hips lift, your body automatically wants to go more forward. If you feel really good and stable, of course, you can bring both legs up. What helped me a lot in the beginning to really feel even that lift coming from my legs is having my head much more neutral. In yoga, if you go into that scorpion position, you want to look forward. That's a different shape than what I'm trying to explain you here. Because if I'm looking so much forward, my shoulders are already going forward. So if I keep my gaze lower to the mat, whoops, it's much easier for me to bring my hips up. If I'm here, I have to arch to make that happen. Hope you can see the difference. Just something to try and to play with. And whenever you had enough, you can just give yourself a moment in child's pose to catch your breath, but also to feel what did you learn and understand about your body in this pose. Was it challenging? Did you not want to try it at all? What are the restrictions that we feel and what can they teach us about our mind? 
on more long breath. Just let it be as it is. And roll back up to sitting. Bring your hands to the front so you can shift yourself back into your downward facing up. Lift your right leg up, three-legged down now. Exhale, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Move the left foot to the front and bring the shin parallel to the front. Sit down. You do the same thing with the right leg. You want to find two 90-degree angles. And then reach forward with your chest so your belly wants to move forward. I always like to go a little bit from side to side to feel that a little more. You can just rest with your hands in front or even on your shin. Or if you have more flexibility, you can bring the forearm in front of the shins. You should feel that on your left outer glute. I call this pose 90 degree pigeon. Wherever you are with your front body, try to lift the right heel up. Feel that engagement in your inner thigh on the right leg. Try to do two or three of those. Very nice. Inhale, come back up. Right hand stays on your front knee. Bring the left arm back, twist over the left side and actively push the right hip down. Exhale, release. Harder part, bring the right foot back to the front. Use your hands, push up so you can step the left foot back. Find your lizard pose here. You can keep the left leg lifted or you can lower it down onto your forearms, but keep the chest nice and low. Try to avoid the right knee collapsing outside so much. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Step back with your right leg. Plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Bring the forearms down for your sphinx pose. Reach forward with your chest. The head is neutral. You don't have to over arch your neck. You can stay here. You can kick one leg at a time towards your heels, but nothing moves in the shoulders and chest. A lot of times when we kick, we collapse forward. That's what we want to avoid. Very nice. Stay with your left forearm in front of you. Take the right arm back. Catch the inside of the right foot. Still keep reaching forward with your chest. You can stay here, just push into the foot, or you can even lift the right knee up. That's a little more intense. Exhale, release. Let's try the other side, right forearm down, catch the inside of the left foot, and actively pull the shoulder back. Is that enough? especially because it's still early in the day. Lift the left knee if you want. Exhale, release. Bring the hands next to your chest out of your strength. Push yourself back to plank and downward facing down. We'll try the left side, 90 degree pitch, and lift the left leg. Exhale, hand, uh, foot next to the left hand. Round your torso, you, so you can bring the right foot to the front, shin parallel with the front of the mat. Left leg also finds a 90 degree shape. A lot of times we like fall to the right side, so make yourself nice and straight to the front to your leg. Maybe create some movements right and left to find that a little bit more easy. You want to reach forward 
as much as you can to find your position. Take another breath and then lift the back heel up. The left heel tries to lift. Do two more. Such a tiny movement, but so effective for our internal and external rotation in the hip. Exhale, release. Come back up to sitting. Go into the twist. Left hand on your front knee. Exhale, twist over the right side. Push the left hip down and forward. Look over the right side. Exhale, unwind. Try to come back. So. Left foot moves to the front, your hands are underneath the shoulders, pull the right knee up, step it back into your lizard. You can stay with the right knee lifted, you can lower it down. What's the lizard you want to do this morning? You want to come onto your elbows, you want to stay up. Two long breaths. And the hands down, shift yourself back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, come all the way up to standing with Vastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Bring your legs out to the side into a goddess pose. You can bring the feet 45 degree angle. And then lower your hips. You want to bring your hands out and imagine you have a cup of tea into them. So rotate the shoulders out and around to the back. You can do both hands at the same time. You can also do one at a time, then you can rotate your whole spine with it. Um, sometimes it's also helpful if you have one to have a block on top of your hand and then you can really go for the full shoulder rotation and maybe imagine a little bit more if you have a cup of tea. I like to do one hand at a time for really flexible people in the shoulders. Boop, that might be a little whoop, boring if you lose the block. You know you have some work to do. Left side is not working. Very nice. And then release the block, bring the arms up. Same idea that we did in the beginning, trying to create a full shoulder rotation. Arms behind the hips, keep the elbows wide. Inhale, brings you up over the head. Exhale, internal rotation, elbow, um, hands are not touching the lower back. One more. Inhale. Exhale, behind the back. Inhale, arms up, sit a little lower. Reach forward, halfway, hips back. Exhale, bring the hands down, straighten the legs. Take a halfway lift, lengthen with your inhale and exhale, lower into your straddle forward fall. You can walk the hands in one line with the feet to push your head closer to the floor or even more back in between the hands, in between the legs to the back of the room, see how far you can go. Three long breath here. And halfway lift. Walk yourself back to the front of the mat. Come into your plank. Chaturanga Nasana. Inhale, good facing up. 
Exhale, downward facing down. Come down onto your knees, sit over your heels, child's pose for a breath. I'm going to give you two options here. You can come back into your forearm stand one more time if you feel like I want to still work on that a little bit. Otherwise, we also prepared um, the eight angle pose by the hip stuff that we did. So for that, you want to bring the right leg over your right shoulder. So you can bring the right um, hand to the floor. You bring the left foot in front and hook the legs. You shift to the front and you lean out to the side. You can switch to the other side as well. So what is really important for this pose is bringing the left um, leg or the right leg really close to the shoulder. And then you can bring the arm down, but the arm stays bent, so the leg just holds on top. The other foot across and really flex the feet. You need that hook as you shift to the front, keep reaching with your chest. The elbows bend and then the leg straighten out. You can play with this. I'm also going to review the forearm step one more time for you if you want to go upside down. Elbows as close as the shoulders. Try not to flare them out to the side. Walk in close so you can come onto your toes. Maybe do tiny hops from here until you feel like, oh yeah, here my leg is over my hip. Push down into the floor, try to catch some hang time. And try the other leg as well. I'm gonna show that eight angle pose one more time. So you have a chance to watch. Bring the knee across, hand close to the hip, cross the foot under. Uh, over, hook the legs, shift forward with your chest and then to the side. If you go forward too early, the hook just slides out. So, take it rather slow, keep the length in the chest, look forward where you go and then shift down. Very nice. Wherever you are, come back on your knees. Bring the palms facing down next to your knees, round your upper spine, give your wrists a stretch, the neck releases, three long breaths. Release the pause. Come back into your plank, lower all the way down onto your mat. You are um, welcome to do just Shalabhasana with the hands behind the um, back into legs and lift up. If you want to go into bow, you can catch the hold of uh, the outside of both feet and lift a little higher into the chest opening and opening of the thigh. Choose what you need. The first version is a little easier as it's not such a big back bend. Try to stay for five long breaths. Whenever you're done with your five breath, bring the hands down. Take your hips from right to left. Release any tension in your back. And then just roll onto your back. Place both feet down, cross the right leg over your left for figure four. 
You can hold on to the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Keep the right foot flexed. Imagine you want to push the right knee to the front. Five long breaths here. you release take the right hand to the right outer edge of the foot open the right foot into a half happy baby you can just place the left foot down or you can take the um, foot next to your hip to have a half saddle pose here but that's also just an option as this stretch is way more intense And then we switch, bring the right foot down, cross the left um, foot across for figure four on the side. Take hold to the back of the thigh or to the front of the shin. Long breath and really ground your whole spine and your shoulders on the mat. Before you lower it completely, take the left hand to the left outer edge of the foot, half happy baby on the side. Do you want to bring the other foot close to the hip or not? And exhale, release. Bring both feet down. Just want to wipe your legs a little bit from right to left. Cross the right knee over the left. Twist the hips to the left side. Arms in one line with your shoulders. You don't need the hand to push the leg down. Your body will do that on its own. You can bring the gaze to the right side. Unwind your body from all the things you did and trust your body that it will remember all the things you discovered for yourself. Three more long breaths here. Inhale brings you back to center and when the legs, left leg crosses over, you can drop the hips a little to the left as you lower the knees to the right, left arm out, look towards the left side. Try to let the weight of the legs guide you deeper into the twist. As you find all these spaces inside your body and your mind by following your practice. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be. Inhale, unwind. Take the back of the legs and come up and down your spine until you find yourself all the way into a sitting position. 
Make sure your sitting bones are grounded on your mat. Bring your arms up, reach up, exhale, fold forward. I invite you to hold on to the shins or the feet and do some cat-cow movements here. Just arch forward and exhale round to create a little bit more space, just two or three times. And then lean forward in any position that feels good. If you need to bend your knees, that's also good. Feel the comfort for yourself in each pose that you are. Only you feel the things you are feeling. Connect the soles of the feet for Baddha Konasana. Mm -hmm. And also here, go a little bit from right to left until you find yourself closer to your feet. Two long breath here. Inhale, lift your back up. Take the right hand to the left knee and the other arm across. And then you can lean forward one more time, let the head rest. Get the arms, the outside of the shoulders a stretch by pushing the knees a little bit more down. And then come up. Bring the other arm in front. Do it one more time. And here brings you up. You can keep the legs as they are if you want to rest in Barakunasana, Supta Barakunasana for your Shavasana. Otherwise, you can bring the knees together, maybe create a ball by bringing the knees into the chest before you straighten out into your Shavasana. As you arrive here, take another deep inhale and let the exhale bring complete relaxation into your muscles, into your Mind, let everything be for a moment. Palms facing up. Let your body rest completely. Trust that inner journey within. That your heart is always holding your hand. Let go of the need for control. Trust that life always holds you. As you consciously make space for yourself, to hold yourself, to feel whatever you need to feel. And sometimes that's easier said than done because we are afraid of pausing and stopping because things might come up that we don't know how to interact or to control. Trust yourself that you can do it by just staying open, by exploring and trying and that 
that itself is enough. Rest as long as you like in this final resting pose, Shavasana.